This is a Pythagorean cup, initially introduced in 6th century BC by Pythagoras himself. It also goes by multiple names such as the Greedy Cup, the Devious Cup, or even the Cup of Greed. This is a little different than the initial version that was introduced in 6th century BC because of the fact that this kind of looks more like an actual cup. This is the Devious Cup that has a different design compared to the first cup, which has a little lip in the center which creates the siphon effect, but there's a hole in the bottom here and a hole in the bottom there that creates the same siphon effect, but it looks a little bit more like an actual drinking glass. As you can see from the initial design, the cross section in point B is when the cup is filled to the maximum point that you can still drink from it. As soon as you overflow that cup and get greedy with your liquid, seen at point C, that creates a siphon effect that initially drains all of the liquid inside of the cup. Then you're, what you're going to have to do is refill it and find that exact point where you're not being greedy even though you just lost all of your liquid. This one has a hole in the bottom and a hole in the top, so it looks more like a real cup, but again has the same effect. This is kind of a similar idea to modern toilets, where when the water level gets high enough in the bowl, it flushes all of it out, creating a similar siphon effect. Obviously a little bit different, but let's go see this in action. So what you can see here as I begin to demonstrate it is even when it's halfway or nine tenths full, none of the water comes out the bottom. But as soon as you reach that top lip, not just a little bit of the water comes out, but literally all of it, and you're going to have to restart and fill it from the beginning. So of course this cup has the exact same effect as the initial cup, it just kind of looks a little bit more realistic, um, even though it's 3D printed kind of weird and you can see some of the errors that it made um, down where you're supposed to hold the chalice, so maybe you could just hold it kind of like this and not really show the defects, but anyways it has the same effect. If you want to print it for yourself, I did not create this by any means, so check it down below, um, feel free to print it for yourself. This is 175% scale I believe um, to what it initially was. But I was at a limitation. I wanted to go even bigger to get more liquid, to get more of a siphon effect um, for how much comes out the bottom. But I was at a bit of a time constraint because this wasn't for a class. And so on campus, the availability was, I think, maximum eight or 10 hours. Um, yeah, so I, I wanted to make it bigger, but I couldn't. It has the same effect anyways. Like I said, I did not create the Thingiverse link, and I'm also not the first person to come up with this idea. So if you do want to check out the Thingiverse link, as well as the Action Labs video talking about the Devious Pythagoras Cup, check both of those down below. Hope you did enjoy. Definitely print one out if you want to. Um, it's kind of fun to prank your friends, kind of a fun effect just to see for yourself, just something to have. Um, and other than that, hope you did enjoy. If you did, drop a like on the video down below, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.